So all over the country, beginning early last June, school curricula have changed completely and become explicitly political and openly racist. And most parents have just sat there on their hands and watched it happen and watched their kids hurt by it. But one group of parents in Loudoun County, Virginia, right outside Washington, is fighting back against all of this, against a curriculum that teaches their kids to hate their country and to judge their classmates based on how they look, on their skin color. Several parents had the courage to say this publicly a few days ago at a school board meeting. Watch. CRT is not an honest dialogue. It is a tactic that was used by Hitler and the Ku Klux Klan on slavery very many years ago to dumb down my ancestors so we could not think for ourselves. CRT is racist. It is abusive. It discriminates against one's color. Let me educate you. An honest dialogue does not impress, oppress. An honest dialogue does not implement hatred or injustice. It's to communicate with deceiving, without deceiving people. Today, we don't need your agreement. We want action in the backbone for what we asked for today, to ban CRT. I had to come down here today to tell you to your face that we are coming together and we are strong. This will not be the last. Greet and meet respectfully. Wow. The first time we saw that video, our instant response was that woman, her name is Chantel Cooper, deserves an award. She's a mother. She's a member of the group Parents Against Critical Theory. And we're very pleased to have her on the show tonight. Chantel Cooper, thank you very much for coming on. What made you Thank do you this? And so many parents have not done this. You stood up there and did this on camera. Why? Well, it contradicts everything that Martin Luther King fought for. It's hatred, Marxist ideology, and it places the child in a loophole of oppression, making them feel as a victim. I can't stand for that. Amazing. Amazing. So d describe the kinds of things that you're that you're fighting against. So the school is teaching children to judge one another on the basis of, of appearance, on, uh, of skin color. Is that right? Yes. Well, it's our job as parents to raise our children, not the school board. One example I can right. give you was um, the school was replacing the morning announcement with news. The second, uh, children reached out to find out how they could help and join a club to see if they could, you know, relate with one another, undivided. And they were denied by the color of their skin for the Equity Ambassador Club. So certain co kids couldn't get in. To, I don't even know what colors you're talking about. But, but the fact remains, kids could not get into a club because they were the wrong color. Correct. Well, how is that different from darker periods, periods we consider evil in American history? That sounds very similar. Well, plain example. You cannot further brotherhood of a man by encouraging class hatred. Our constitution is what unites us, not the color of our skin. Yes. So America, it's just time for us to stand up for one another. You know, this, this is the last free country. Wow, what was the response? I love to hear you say that, and I agree with that 100%. What was the response when you did this? when you spoke so publicly about what your school was teaching? Well, it's been positive. I never knew that there were so many parents that felt the way I did. I love people. So for anyone to go against, you know, good, but be, but be okay with evil, you can't fix a bad reaction with another bad action. It just doesn't make sense. That's right. That's exactly right. Chantel Cooper, I'm, I'm so glad that you came on the show tonight. And what a voice you are. I hope people will emulate you. Thank you very well, much. Thank you for having me. Hey, Sean Hannity here.